Fighting games aren't for the weak of heart. Yes, you could hop into a game like Mortal Kombat, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, or Street Fighter V and get by on some basic inputs, but properly mastering all the different combos and setups takes time. Then you have those combos which exist for no other reason than to destroy your motivation. Let's take a look at nine of them here. Before we go ahead, a quick request. We upload new videos every single day and your subscription matters a lot. So please consider subscribing and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. With that out of the way, let's begin. Leona Trial 10, The King of Fighters 13. The trials in The King of Fighters 13 represent a fine line between testing your skill and outright destroying your hand. Leona Hydern's Trial 10 is a good example. It consists of 16 hits with the need to transition from a Moon Slasher to a Baltic Launcher by canceling out of the latter not once, not twice, but three times in a row. Then you have to execute and cancel out of a Grand Saber run, perform the Moon Slasher to Baltic Launcher inputs again, execute a V Slasher, an in-air desperation move that requires one directional quarter circle, followed by a half circle and either low or high punch, before ending with a Leona Blade Neomax, which is another quarter circle, followed by a half circle into a low or high punch. Got all that? Naturally, you need to be frame perfect, especially with the cancels, to pull it off properly. Rock Howard's Neo Deadly Rave, Garou, Mark of the Wolves. At first glance, Neo Deadly Rave appears to be a regular super move. Simply input the command, which is a back half circle, and forward with low punch, and watch the combo play out, right? Wrong. After inputting the command to start the super move, you then need to input each individual hit in the combo, which works out to be low punch, low punch, low kick, low kick, strong punch, strong punch, strong kick, strong kick, and finally ending with a back quarter circle plus strong punch. Oh, and make sure you execute this in the corner to deal more damage. On the bright side, at least his version of Raging Storm is easier to pull off than Geese from KOF 96 and KOF 98 Ultimate Match. Hayate's Raijin, Dead or Alive 6. While it comes across as a relatively short combo with only three hits per se, Hayate's Raijin is one of the more notoriously difficult throw combos to pull off. It starts with a forward quarter circle plus throw. Then while the opponent is in midair, you have to hit forward, back, up and down plus throw. The final move requires, no joke, up directional right, down directional left, up directional left and down directional right plus throw. Is there anything notably exceptional about Raijin other than it being difficult to pull off? Well, it looks cool. That's about it. Order Souls Dragon Install, Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus R. In Guilty Gear Strive, Soul Bad Guy's Dragon Install has been changed somewhat, turning into a startup for Heavy Mob Cemetery. But in the good old days of Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus R, it was truly something special, particularly when it came to Order Soul. Activating the move involved a back half circle before inputting forward into slash, and if you were using the EX mode version, it was two back half circles plus slash. From there, you had to input each individual hit in the Morbid World combo, which was punch, kick, slash, heavy slash, dust attack, kick, and slash. The combo ends with a back half circle and then forward heavy slash. If the opponent's health is low enough, Order Soul will perform a modified Napalm Death and be reduced to a disheveled state. For as difficult as the combo is to perform, that too under the right circumstances, the visual payoff is tremendous. Sea Viper's Level 24 Trial, Ultra Street Fighter 4. Crimson Viper is one of the tougher characters to master in Ultra Street Fighter 4, and her final trial showcases why. It starts with a crouching high punch and immediately transitions into a Thunder Knuckle, which must then be cancelled into another crouching high punch, then into an EX Seismic Hammer, whose input is forward, down diagonal, down forward plus punch. Then you need to execute a high jump into a high burning kick and end it with a burst time, which is two forward quarter circles plus three punches. Akira's Stun Palm of Doom, Virtua Fighter 2. The Stun Palm of Doom looks easy to execute with some relatively simple commands. Punch plus kick plus throw, then down back and forward into punch and throw, and finally down forward or back punch. It's just three hits, how bad could it be? Virtua Fighter 2 first launched for arcades in 1994, and till this day, performing the Stun Palm of Doom remains a challenge. Whether it's the timing or the quick input required, it can be a nightmare. 
Arcane's Shunkoku, Arcana Heart 3, Love Max 6 stars. Don't be fooled by the name. Arcana Heart 3, Love Max 6 stars, possesses some of the most devious combos in the genre, and Akane Inikawa's Critical Heart, Shunkaku, is probably the most punishing of them all. Starting the move requires pressing back half circle and forward plus weak and medium attack. Then you just need to repeatedly press all five of the attack buttons. Just how much do you need to press them? Enough to add an additional 90 hits on top of the first 10 in the move within a span of probably two seconds. It looks simple, but pulling it off takes superhuman effort. Magneto Rom Infinite, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 a number of different characters have infinites in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but the Magneto Rom Infinite is perhaps the most famous. Created by a Japanese player named Rom, this combo became pretty much essential for high skill players. Though it has variations, the standard way of executing it is crouching high punch, super jump high kick, air dash down, forward low kick, air dash low kick, and then land. But wait, there's more. Next you have to hit super jump low kick, super jump low kick again while air dashing down forward, air dash low kick twice and then land, then repeat this entire step repeatedly. Pull this off and you can string together some chunky combos, though at the cost of any feeling in your hands and or wrists. Ash Trial 8, The King of Fighters 13 In case you thought the difficult trials ended with Leona, there's Ash Crimson's 8th trial in The King of Fighters 13 that will make you question your sanity. It starts with a few simple hits and a backward floreal or two. Things quickly pick up when you have to execute two floreals before transitioning into a Niveau's, Ventos, and High Kick Niveau's. From there, you have to follow the rhythm of executing two Ventoses followed by a high kick Niveau's three times in a row, and these are all moves that require charging a directional button when executing them. The next two Ventoses after that transition into a Sans Culotte, which requires pressing all four face buttons at once and then a high kick Niveau's. From there, it becomes a pattern of backward Florel, low kick Niveau's, and then a high kick Niveau's four times in a row before ending in a backward Florel into a germinal desperation move. That's 46 hits in over 23 seconds, or so if you manage to time it all properly. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.